Hi there everybody, it's Pam Carr from Caraway Crochet and I'm here today to show you how to make the warmest feet ever slipper socks. These are so cozy and warm and I'm going to show you how to make a small and please stay tuned and enjoy this video on all the techniques you need to use when you're making the warmest feet ever slipper socks. These are the small but there are sizes a large and medium in on my blog. It's a free pattern that you can check out how to make the larger sizes if that's what you need. So please subscribe to my channel and enjoy this video tutorial. Thank you. So here's what we're going to be making today. This is the warmest feet ever slipper sock. It's um, a really popular pattern on my blog and in my Etsy shop and I thought I would make a tutorial to show you how to make it. Now what I'm going to be making today is the small but it just explains how to do the heel. It explains how you do this top part. It explains the whole process of making this warmest feet ever slipper sock. So this is a size small and what it means is it would fit uh, a five to six late, um, size woman's um, size and it's eight and a half inches long and nine to ten inches in circumference around the foot. Okay now what I have on my blog post and in the Etsy pattern there's a small, a medium and a large and I will write that information down below what the sizing is but if you want to see how to make the other sizes you can just go to my blog post which I will link below and it will show you how many stitches you need to start your um, large pair or your medium pair and I do have a children's pattern out too which I might make it make a different video for so anyway it's the warmest feet slipper socks all you need is some super bulky I've got Woolies Lion brand um, Woolies thick and quick because it's my very favorite to make these slippers from other people have told me they've made it from burnout yarn blanket yarn you can Lots of people have made lots of different things. If you kind of search warmest feet ever slipper socks, um, you might see on Instagram lots of different pictures of how people have made these. So you're going to need a J hook. Now, J hooks, I went and bought this one because I was away from home and I wanted to get started on this last week. I'm back at home now, but this was a J hook and it's a six millimeter. The J hook that I had at home, then I wrote the pattern, was a 5.75 millimeter so anyway in that region okay I, I said a J hook but I didn't realize they're like end hooks they have different sizes for different hooks you're going to need a yarn needle for sewing in the ends and you're going to need your scissors for when you're cutting at the end of their project okay so that's what we're going to be making today the warmest feet ever slipper socks and um, these are made with the mustard color of Lion Brand Woolies Thick and Quick but I love them made in the oatmeal. I love them made in the marble gray. You can make them in pinks. They look really nice in all the colors. Okay, so I'm going to go get some. So there's a couple of things to note when you're making these slippers is that the chain two that is worked at the beginning of each of the rounds, because this is worked in the round mostly, um, that doesn't count as a stitch when you're counting your stitches. And also we're not going to be turning at the end of each round. We're just going to be chaining two, going around, joining with a slip stitch to the top of the first chain two. And we're going to keep progressing that way, okay? So there's two ways you can start it. You can chain three and join it to make a small ring. So you could do that. I'll make a slip stitch here. This is for people who don't want to make a magic circle, right? So you chain three, chain three, and then we join it into the first chain with a slip stitch. All the way through that one and then through that one and we have a teeny tiny you can see my finger poking through there that's a chain that you can work on if you want to chain two and make your double crochets into that little circle okay and the way I prefer to do it because it makes it a little bit tighter in the toe is to do a magic circle okay or a magic loop so I I've had I have a video tutorial on how to make a magic loop. I pinch it there, I wrap it round and cross it over, I put the hook underneath and over and pull that through, twist it and then pull that through and that's my magic loop. So chain two and then we're going to make for the size small we are going to make ten 
double crochets into this magic loop, okay? 10, so here's one. You can see by using this smaller hook for this yarn, because the recommended size for this yarn is an N. This makes for nice, tight, warm slipper socks, okay? That's two. Make a double crochet, yarn over, put it through the loop, yarn over, pull it up. So that's three. Four. Five. You can see how I'm kind of twisting my hand to go in and out of the loop. In. Yarn over, pull it through. Yarn over, pull it through two. And if you keep pulling on this side, you get the tension you need to pull it through those those loops, okay? If you don't, you are going to have a tr you need to keep that tension tight so that you pull open those loops and it makes it easier to go through. Now this is the chain two at the beginning, so we're not going to count that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we need three more. Eight. Nine. And ten. All right, so we have ten single um, double crochets into that magic loop. Now we can actually pull this tight. And you see when you pull on this string, it tightens it right up. It's got a really nice little tight spot there. So pull it as tight as you can and then count up your chain two and slip stitch into the top of the first chain two that you did. Put the yarn over and pull it through and pull it through. That's a slip stitch and we've made our toe. That's our little toe part. Okay, so now we're going to chain two. Now we're going into, this is round one, so we're going to do round two. When we're working in the round, instead of saying rows, we say rounds. Sometimes when you're making videos, you might say the wrong word because you're focusing on what you're doing, but essentially they are rounds, okay? So round two is chain two, and then two double crochet into each of the double crochets from the previous row. So I'm gonna yarn over, and I'm gonna go into this one, and we're gonna do two. One, and into the same stitch, there's my little pinky sticking through there. That's two. Okay. And now we're going to go to make two into the next one. Let me get some yarn. This is called increase, right? When you do two stitches into the same previous row. Okay. Round one, two. So that's four. Okay. And now we're going to go two into the next stitch, which is here. You can see it right there. Okay, so yarn over before you go in there because it's a double crochet. Yarn over, pull it through two. Yarn over, pull it through two. Yarn over and into the same stitch. Two stitches into each of the previous stitches, okay? And here we go again. One. And two. And into the next one. One. And two. Into the same stitch. And then into the next one. Always remembering to put the yarn over. Pull it through two. Pull it through two. That's one stitch. Two. And here we go for the next one. One. And two. And into the next one. One. And two. Into the next one. One. And two. And then into the last one here. One. And two. Now, with crochet, one of the first lessons you really learn with crochet is you always count your stitches. That's why so many people, when they're making their first projects, are rectangles, they're never rectangular, or their squares are never square, because they don't count the stitches. So we've got here, here's our chain two, 
that we started with, and we don't count that as a stitch, remember? So then we've got one, two in there, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, and that's how many we should have. Two times ten, twenty. Okay, so now I'm putting my hook into the top of that chain two right there. Yarn over to pull it through that and pull it through. And there we go. That's two rounds. One, two. Now to make the rest of our foot for rows three, four, five, and six, we're just going to chain two and double crochet into each stitch. So every round should have 20 stitches in it, okay? What I like to do is when you're looking and you don't know which one you should go into, don't go into the one right at the base of your chain two. Go into the next one for the slippers. That works really nicely. And then you always have to go into that very, very last one. But you can always make sure by counting, okay? So we're not going to go right into this one. We're going to yarn over and go into that stitch. And we're going to go, because that's... And go all the way around for 20. One, two. And go all the way around and I'll stop at the end and we'll count to make sure we've got 20. Okay? Now what you'll notice as you're doing this, because we're not increasing, it's starting to curl. So I like to just pop it out like this so that this will be the right side of the work facing us, right? And I have just done the 19th double crochet so we have this last little stitch in here. So we're going to do number 20 into that one. And then we're going to slip stitch into the top of the chain two. And you can see it really clearly because we didn't go right into the base of it. But when you slip stitch into there, you see that it's a really nice join for your slipper. And this is the toe. You can see it's starting. So we're working up the foot now, okay? So because this is the small size, we've just done round one. You can see the rows very clearly. One, two, three rounds. We need to do four, five, and six. So we need to do three more rounds with 20 double crochets in each of those rounds. We're going to start off chaining two, and at the end of the round, we are also always going to finish off with joining with a slip stitch to the top of this one, okay? So once again, we're not going to go into the base. We're just going to go into this next one and we're going to start going around and we'll be making 20 stitches, finishing in the very last little space and join with a slip stitch to the top of the chain two. Chain two and start another one. We need to do round four, five, and six. We've got one, two, three, so we need four, five, and six. So three more rounds, okay? And stop when you can count six. So here we are at the end of round six. There you can count them, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to make my last double crochet into that space and then at the top of this chain two, slip your hook in there, pull it through and pull it through. Now for round seven, and this round um, is where we're going to be getting pre prepped to do the heel the back part of the foot where and, and create that hole where we are going to slip our foot into the slipper, okay? So we have to do some stuff. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna chain two and we are, for the small size, we're going to double crochet in 15 stitches. Then we're going to do some um, decreasing and then continue around the side. Um, and that, this number of stitches varies for each size. So this only is pertaining to the size small. If you're making it bigger, you need to look up my pattern, which is free on my blog, um, for the large ones and the medium ones, okay? But for the small, we're going to crochet into 15 stitches, okay? And I'm going to start out going into the base of my chain two. Doesn't really matter. One, two, Three, four, five, uh oh, sorry, five, I need to pull some yarn. Six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So that's fifteen double crochets after we chained two. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to half double crochet into the next stitch. So the half double crochet, yarn over, go into the stitch, yarn over, pull it up, and then pull it, yarn over and pull it through all three. That's the half double crochet, okay? That's a half double crochet into the next stitch, and then we're going to single crochet into the next three stitches. So that's one, two, three, into the next three stitches, and then half double crochet into the last stitch. Okay, we didn't decrease in that row, so I made a mistake. I'm sorry, I, I thought that was a, a decrease row. So that's a half double crochet in the last, and then we're going to join to the top of the first double crochet. So here we go. This is the where we chain two. So we're going to slip stitch and join it there. This is not um, where we are um, going to do the decrease. That happens later. Okay, so now what we do here is we chain two. Uh, We've got 20 stitches still, but we're going to chain two. Okay, so we've, we've got our 15 double crochets, and then we had a half double crochet that we did, and then we single crocheted into three, one, two, three, and then we did a half double crochet, and we joined it up to the top of the previous chain two. So we've chained two, and now what we're going to do is double crochet into 15 stitches. That's like the first 15 that we did in the previous row, okay? So let's go make sure we got our yarn around the right way. And we're going to double crochet into 15 stitches, okay? One, two, three, four, I'm going to go on and I'll meet you at the end of the 15. Okay, okay, so here we are. We've done 14 and now we're doing 15 double crochets. And you can see we've got to the point where we did the half double crochet and the three single crochets and the other half double crochet. So what we're going to do at this point now then is we are going to chain two and turn. So instead of going across and, and joining up over there, we're going to chain two and turn because you can see this is going to be the shape of the slipper and we're going to now be starting to crochet some rows up here to get back to where the heel is going to be, okay? So we're going to chain two, turn, and we're going to double crochet 15 stitches in the previous round, of the row of 15 stitches. So that we actually do turn our work at this point in the slippers. It's the only time that happens. So we're going to go across these 15 and I'll meet you at the end of this row of 15. Double and here we are at the end and we're going to yarn over and here we're going to go into the last stitch there for our 15th double crochet and you can see how we're building up an edge. We're building up two rows there and two rows there. Okay, so we're going to chain two and turn our work again. Chain two, turn our work again to do our another row for the the size and you can see you can imagine when we're doing the large we do more rows at that point because we want it to be a longer slipper for the longer foot but for the small we're just going to do three of these rows okay so now we're going to do 15 double crochets all the way across on top of the previous 15 so I'll meet you at the end and then we start with the exciting stuff okay so here we go we're at the end of that row and I'm just going to do my final double crochet into this round and if you start to count if you go from the toe one two three four five six seven eight nine ten rounds of double crochet 
All right, so now for round 11, this is going to be the one where we do the decreasing. I thought I was ahead of myself before. So we're going to chain two. For round 11, we're going to turn the work. And then we're going to double crochet into the next six stitches. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so that's, we've double crocheted into six. So this is where we're gonna double crochet three together. Okay, so we go yarn over into that one. That's one, two, three stitches, okay? We've got one, two, three, four, five loops on our hook there. Yarn over and we're gonna pull it through all of those. And this is where it's really important to pull down and keep those loops open so your hook can just slip right through there. Otherwise your hook's gonna get stuck, okay? I'm gonna chain it like that. Okay, now what we're gonna do next is we've done our three double crochet together. We're gonna double crochet into the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and the last one in the row, six. Okay, now that's created a little bit of a heel by double crocheting those three together. It's kind of created this bit of a rise up there for your heel, okay? So you don't fasten off. This is very important. Do not fasten off because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hold our project like this Okay, and we are going to slip stitch into the very first one that we made there. Okay, and we're rejoining them together. So we're going to slip stitch into there. And what you end up with is this little hole at the back. That is the back of your heel. Here is our slipper. That is the back of your heel. And now what we've got is we've got this space in here, which is where our foot goes, that we need to build up because we want a nice cuff on our boot, right? On our slipper. So we've joined them together. And now what we're going to do is turn it so our toe is away from us. And we are now going to go up to make our nice edging, okay? So we're beginning our ankle. So we're going to chain one. And the first round that we're going to do is where we're picking up all of these stitches to start creating our, um, our, our cuff of your slipper or whatever you want to call it. And this is where it's arbitrary really. We want to end up with around 20 stitches, single crochet stitches as we go around this. So I sort of start out going into the top of each row and single crocheting and counting. You might have to pull it out a few times to get it to go. It's it's just got to be around 20. If it's 22 or 19, it doesn't really matter because this is just the area that's going to rise up. But make sure you do it the same for each slipper, okay? So I've done one there, two. I'm just going into each of these. I like to not go into the big gap because I don't want that big hole. I'll go into this little space here. So that's three and then four, just picking up and doing a single crochet, okay? Five, six, seven, and then now we've come to where we're gonna go around the corner here, so let's do one in there, eight, nine and then we're going into each of the stitches across there where we did our half double crochets and our singles 10 11 12 
and back into this corner 13 and now we're going to be going along here sort of one in each of we've got 13 right so let's go 13 14 15 16 I'm not going to go into that big spot I'm going to go into here and then 17 18 19 and 20 and here we are back at the top of our heel so I am going to slip stitch into the very first top of the chain one which is right here I'm just going to slip stitch that together and this is where we're going to start the fun part of going up and making our rounds so we're going to chain two and we are going to start working in the round around here where we've done all our single crochets not in that heel part leave that alone that's got to be sewn up at the end okay so we've chained two i've i ended up with exactly 20 on here so i hope you managed to get that to work out for you if you've got 18 it doesn't matter it just makes a slightly tighter um cuffed ankle part okay going up your ankle so we've chained two and now we're going to double crochet into each stitch around and join to the, the top of the of the first double crochet with a, a slip stitch just like we did when we were making this boot part okay so we're going to go in here and we're going to do double crochets all the way around one two three four five six seven into each single crochet from the previous row right eight nine double crochets ten double crochets eleven 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20 there we are that's 20 and then we have this chain two that we started this round we're going to slip stitch into the top of that chain two and there we have the first bit of our ankle going up okay so yeah we're going to chain two you guessed it and we're going to double crochet around into each of those stitches that we picked up around there and we're going to do another one we want to have three of these rounds one that we need to do two and three okay so i'm going to go away and let you do that chain two double crochet into each stitch around the ankle join with a slip stitch to the top of the first chain two this one chain two and do one more round okay so that's going to be your job i'll meet you back at the end okay so here we are i have gone around remember always count your stitches i have got my chain two here and then I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And I'm just going to do number 20. Here it goes into that last little space there. And because I've now got the one row of single crochet and the one, two, three rows for to make it up, I'm going to slip stitch into the top of the chain two. And that is going to be how I make my small, warmest feet ever slipper socks, okay? Now, the thing is, you can make them 
this bit longer if you want to go up another row. That's completely up to you. Now I made the small with one skein of this Line Brand Woolies Thick and Quick, and this is how much I have left over from making the small. So if you're going to be making a medium or a large, you're probably going to need two skeins, okay? So the next thing we have to do is we have to join the heel. So I need my yarn hook, and I'm going to get some yarn. And what I had forgotten that what I do do sometimes is I won't cut this off. I will just um, make it very long and thread it down through here to get here. But I forgot to do that, so we will just sew this up separately. You can you can do it whichever way you want. So I've cut myself some yarn. I'm going to thread my yarn needle. And then there's two ways you can do this. It's completely up to you, your choice. I, I've sort of experimented with both and I don't really have a favorite way. But what you're going to be doing is you're going to be sewing this up. So you can sew it up like I'm going to do now or you can turn it inside out and sew it on the inside if you want. I'm going to do it on the outside for this one. So I am going to sort of thread my needle through here get to the bottom of the heel there we go and then I'm going to go in and out a little bit just to tie my yarn in so it doesn't want to go anywhere there we go and then you can see how your stitches are showing there so you can just go into this side and into this side and pull it through and then we go into this stitch and this stitch on the opposite side and pull it through and into this stitch and the stitch on the opposite side and oh, <laughs> getting a little enthusiastic there Pam there we go pull it through same on these two stitches they match up perfectly so you can see I, I'm going in the outside stitched. You can do, you can go through both stitches. And then we're going to do the next one. Oh, I'm hoping I'm in camera there. And then at the top, I'm going to go through it a couple of times like we did before at the bottom. And then I'm going to go through to the back. side and I'm going to weave in the ends on the inside. You can actually go in and out of that single crochet row. There we go. And then back. So go, you know, you need to go about three times with your with your weaving in to make sure that it's not going to come out. And because if you're going, you could be throwing these in the wash, you want to make sure they don't come undone. So that one can be cut off. And then this one, we have to just weave it in. So we take this one at the top of the slipper and I'm going to go in at the top of those two just to sort of pull that together and then go down. I don't really have a lot of yarn on this one. And then I'm going to go back up here and over there. And you might have seen I do this trick a lot. If you're running out of yarn and it's not long enough, you just leave the eye showing and then you can thread your yarn in and pull it through. So that's the top. And don't forget, you've got a little tail on the inside where we started, okay? Where you either did your chain three or you did your, um, I'm just going to cut this one. There we go. So you have to turn it inside out for this to get to your little toe part. Okay? And this one, thread it through. I tried to remember to leave a little bit longer one when I do my magic loop. So I can 
have a decent amount to thread through. And this is where the circle is, where the magic loop was, or the magic circle, or the magic ring, whichever term you use. The thing about crochet is there's not a lot of standardized language around crochet sometimes. Different names for different things, just like you can do things different ways, right? A bit like folk music and folk songs. There's no real right version of it. It's just come down through time. People passing on information to other people. So I never get on my high horse about anybody who says, this is the right way to do it. There. Ta-da! We have our slipper socks. So now we have a pair. Made out of one skein. This is small. Unfortunately, I don't think that the one skein would do a, a, a large, I know they don't do a large pair. Um, and for the medium, I think it would be safer to get two. Okay, and I will try and get my children's version done. I can't make a promise as to when that will happen, but I will put some pictures at the end to show you how different yarns look made into my, my warmest feet ever slipper socks. Please do subscribe if you like what I'm making on my channel, you like the tutorials, or if you'd like to get notifications, click on the bell so whenever I do a live, that will come up as a notification for you or when I post a new video. So thank you very much. I'm Pam Carr from Caraway Crochet. And I hope you like the warmest feet ever slipper socks. They're kind of easy. They look like they should be hard, but actually they're not that tough to make. So they're kind of beginner friendly. And I hope this tutorial helped you. Okay, thank you. Bye.